Awesome. Flies at the board. Um, let's make somebody else check him. I don't, I don't trust Tip anymore. I thought she, she was going around. Right. Right. We'll put Kralik in charge this time. Kralik, he does something wrong. It's something suspicious. You let, you let him know about it. You let him hear about it. Is this a lie? Is this a lie? Uh, check with your teacher. The district policy is yeah. you, you, if you don't take it, you don't have to fail twice. Oh, really? So, so just check with your teacher. Your teacher might be totally cool with that. It might be a COVID year thing. Okay. It might blow a lot. I, mean, I had a discussion with people downstairs about kids that okay. have, you know, that they have a high enough number that you really have to maybe take the test. And they, they said the district policy is the same. But if your teacher is willing to give you a secret high side, check the box. Honestly, you read like. It depends on how hard the final is and you know what's the context is. I, you know, I, I taught in a school where you got over 95% of the questions in every class, in all your classes. Yeah, that's time I'm doing. So that was something you, you, you kids would strive for 95 oh, just oh, to oh, avoid the finals. <laughs> and they could take that whole week off. Like the finals week, they're gone. Straight A's and they can't take week off. No studying, no nothing. And I was like, this, this it was huge. It was, it was a cool idea because the kids, would literally be striving for a 95 instead of 90.0. Yeah. And then the whole final crisis crying stuff, we could do it. So just boom, they take care of it. Wonderful. Loved it. Okay, so this is the reference line for cosine. All right, that's this my family. It's my cosine graph. Oh, bye bye. All right, he's good. Yep. Okay, so now we can draw the line. With the um, period. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You write the period? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to do the reference line that includes the period first. All right. So. Now, I'm telling people oh, to start oh, left and go right. So I would suggest for most people, you're going to reflect first. And oh, stretch okay. by two. Um, but so to find the period, we do. Um, T letter sign equals two pi over omega, which is two pi over one half, which is four pi because the one half goes up. So since it's four pi, um, we can do. So the period is going to repeat every four pi. Okay, you need to pick a different color. I don't like that one. Oh, holy! Can fuck. I just do to write the line? <laughs> Whoa! Pink was better. So because it's four pi, it goes to zero on the pi now. Okay. Well, it should be at the minimum of two pi though. Wait, what? Is that yeah, yeah, that's a little too steep down, but yeah, my bad. That's okay. there we go. And now I'll we'll change it to red. So now we can look at the front. So it's negative two, which means it's too steep. And flip so nice and now yeah, pausing there. Don't do this. Yeah, Donnie. Uh, wait, now you just give the uh? oh, he just moved it down too. Like he, he, he flipped it. And at the same time, he stretched by a factor two or didn't get a two amplitude. He's going down two and up two. Yeah. 
He has not moved the whole thing upward down again at all. And why is it coming out of negative two? Because it normally come out of one, correct? Yeah. So flip it would normally come out of negative one instead, right? Yeah. And the amplitude is what? Two? So it's going to oh, be I negative see. two and positive two. Yeah. So you did two steps and one step right there. Okay. Goal move, it is correct, so we'll let him off the hook. Okay. Now we have to find the the phase. Shift. That you spell that. And um so that's negative. Wait, what is this four pi over W? That means it's gonna repeat every four pi, so that's two pi. So that's why he's only drawing half the curve. Starts below and ends up high. You can't get four pi. Pi over two over one half, right? That's right. Yeah. Drop the negative one. Oh, the negative. Wait. Oh, I did. Yeah. So negative pi over two over one half. So negative two pi over two. Negative pi. We shift it. One pi to the left. So we've got it starting. Like that, but um, like this now we just go and that's it. Uh, except for the minus two that we have to do. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I should get dashed line there. Got the eraser and dash it up. Dash this one off. Here, I'll just do it correctly this time. Oh, yeah, the, the minus two. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that at the end, yeah. So. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. So, Nesney? Yes, ma'am. When, so you know how the cosine is supposed to start at 1? Right. So, even when there's this shift, like, I guess what I'm trying to think, like, this looks like it's starting at 0. If that, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk. Because you did a couple of steps simultaneously, and that might have thrown you off. So, I know he's thinking in his head. It's good thinking. So he started off with the yellow line, or he started with the pink line. Are you with us on that? Yeah. This line right here. That's a normal cosine curve, nothing big there. Then I would have done a negative 2 first. So a negative tells me to flip it across the x-axis. So I should start here instead, agreed? Mm -hmm. Now it's amplitude of 2, so I don't start at negative 1. I'm going to start at negative 2 instead, correct? Yeah, right, because I'm going to go up or down too. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I guess I'm just so, I'm so confused as to why we start at negative 2 instead of negative 1. Okay, because it's negative 2 cosine, this 2 is the amplitude. It's how tall the wave is. Mm -hmm. So instead of starting at 2, right, the north starts at 1, instead of starting at 2, we're going to flip it to here. And then the height of the wave is going to be 2, so it's going to go down 2 and then up 2. So it's going to go like this, up to 2, and then back down to here. Yeah. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. All right. Now, next thing you found was the period is 4 pi. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just write all over his paper and make this thing worse. Are you ready? So if you flip it. You would have, should have gotten this graph right here. Whoops. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay, so that's your normal cosine curve with a negative 2 flapped in front. Negative telling me to flip it, which means I, went, I start down instead of up. 2 meaning I have a wave height of 2. I'm going down 2 and up 2 each time. Next thing, he discovered period. 
period is only 4 pi, right? Yeah. So he has to get this done by 4 pi, not 2 pi, which is way the heck over here somewhere. So he's going to get half his curve done, agreed? Yes. So that's going to be this thing right here. All right, you only got halfway done. Mm -hmm. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Next step is phase shift. You calculated that was negative pi. Do you agree with that? Yeah. That means at this point here, it has to go pi to the left. One, two, three, four. This point here has to go here. Whoa. He may have done this wrong. Ha ha! Oh, we did the drop two yet. We haven't done the drop two yet. Okay, and then uh, this one here has to go here. Agree? Yes. So it's going to look something like. So far, so good? All right, then we have to drop the whole thing too. Drop it two. Drop it two. Drop it two. And that's the final graph. Okay. Is that okay? Why do you yeah. drop the two? Drop the whole thing too? Yeah. Because it says minus two at the end, even though it said equals, I said change that to a minus sign. Oh, okay. So any number added on or struck to the end lets the whole or lets or drops the whole entire graph. It does. It just picks it up or throws it down. Just like so a that number started it's negative two as well. Or is the first well, the reason why it started at negative two is because the amplitude. The amplitude said, hey, we're going plus or minus two. We're going up two and then down two. Yeah. Up two and then down two. The minus says instead of starting at one, we have to start negative. We're going to reflect. Oh, okay. And then, and then from there, then the amplitude's two, so then it actually starts. To, instead of starting at negative one, it starts at negative two, right? And that's how we got the ball rolling. Okay. It just, it, it made so many shifts, we ended up roughly back where we started, which is kind of weird. Yes, sir? Can I use the map? Yes. Are we good here? All right, Ms. Brazilian, you know you're next, right?